Hey everybody, welcome to Sideshow Live! Woo! Oh yeah! Sideshow Live! Sideshow Live! Sideshow Live! Sideshow Live! Sideshow live. Sideshow live. Sideshow live. That works. That works for me. I don't know if it works for you. We have just returned from New York Comic Con. Super excited to be back. We have a lot of really awesome stuff. And the first thing, the first thing that I want to mention is we have a brand new newsletter giveaway. Check out side.show slash first order troopers contest and you can win two six scale first order troopers. We're going to be able to check those out. I'll show you those in a little bit. Uh, now, uh, most importantly, I am joined by one of my favorite people on the planet, my co-host for the day, my man, Joshy G. Josh, how you doing, buddy? Woo! Hi, everyone. What's up, Joshy G? I was not in New York. How was New York Comic Con. Did you get some delicious New York pizza, possibly from a, an establishment called Sabaro? I had a nice salsa. Yeah, it was great. No, I, I had a blast in New York. The food was great. The fans were amazing. I met so many amazing people. We had a great panel. It was just so great. We've got a lot of video uh, coming uh, from New York Comic Con. Awesome. Uh, still, we did a lot that weekend. We've got more coming out. Super stoked on that. Um, so this uh, first order trooper, uh, it looks like Super Producer Sam ready to hand it over to me. So I'll just take it and show you right now. Now, uh, these two first order troopers that you can win. Again, that's side.show slash first order troopers contest. You have until October 31st. That's Halloween to win this. So don't forget to sign up and do that. Uh, now, we got a couple of things going on today I'm super stoked about, okay? First and foremost, uh, the way we always like to introduce this show is with Geek Headlines by my man Joshy G. That's right. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have Joshy G back here with me. We've got some amazing PCS pieces from classic video games, the stuff that we grew up on, and we're here to talk about that. Uh, then we'll have some more nostalgia with my favorite Ninja Turtle of all time. That's right, Raphael. Uh, super stoked on that. But first and foremost, let's get to these geek headlines. Joshy G, what do you got for me, bud? Geek headlines, here we go. We still don't have a song, but you got me. I think, I think you're all we need. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Thank oh, you, buddy. Thank well, you. guys, let's get things started with our geek headlines. First and foremost, Spider-Man is back. We learned this last week. Tom Holland's going to be reprising his role as the, our favorite web slinger uh, in the MCU. But he may not be alone. Uh, according to Screen Rant, producer Amy Pascal foreshadowed a future appearance by The Sinister Six Ooh. during a special feature on the new Spider-Man Far From Home Blu-ray. Now she said, and I quote, all of these villains that are now in our universe happen to be characters that are in The Sinister Six. That may be something, or there may be something uh, that happens with that. Now I'm a big, big Sinister Six fan. I'm also a big Doc Ock fan. Jeff, I know you're a huge Spider-Man fan. What are your thoughts on the Sinister Six having their own uh, standalone movie or maybe being incorporated? I like the synergy that Disney and Marvel are back on the same page. Can that translate over to a Sinister Six movie? Uh, I, I don't know. I hope so. Uh, what, I, what I like about this, I mean, the Sinister Six have been a part of, of uh, Peter Parker's life since Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 1. Right, that's a long time ago. So this is this is long time canon. So I'm super excited uh, at the at the prospect of the Sinister Six coming in. And I also, depending on what direction we go with Sony and Marvel, the idea that they could be major villains in an MCU franchise style film is really exciting to me as well. That you could have other Marvel heroes incorporated, and that ties back to a lot of different. Um, comic book storylines like Ultimate Six when they did the Sinister Six storyline and the Ultimate thing, uh, Maximum Carnage, which included Ooh. a lot, uh, included a lot of of uh, Marvel heroes as well. So I like the idea, the potential that this offers. Now whether or not they they sort of cement it and seal it down has yet to be seen, but I love the potential that this uh, sort of opens up for. Yeah, and I like that now that the 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 bridge has not been burned and some 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 things have been mended. We are possibly on the verge for a, of a Another cool franchise uh, from both Marvel and uh, Sony. Uh, well, it is beanie season, as you can see. It's spooky season, ladies and gentlemen. And one of our favorite movies from last year, Halloween, is returning with a sequel and a, a third sequel that is being filmed at the exact same time. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Now, if you're a big fan of the original franchise, one of... Uh, one of these characters is returning, and the character that I'm talking about, Sheriff Lee Brackett. And not just the character, the actual actor who played Sheriff Lee Brackett in both Halloween in 1978 and the last time he reprised his role 
as Sheriff Lee Brackett in 1981's Halloween 2. With so many casting uh, uh, announcements coming in in these past few days and some set photos from Miss Jamie Lee Curtis himself, or herself, I am very, very excited for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Uh, I'm a big horror fan. I don't know if you are, Jeff, but it, that last movie was so great, and I'm looking forward to these next two. What are your thoughts on Halloween Kills and all these casting rumors? And, uh, yeah. We're talking 38 years between the role. So I'm really excited that somebody gets to revisit a role that they made classic almost 40 years ago. So I'm really stoked about that. I liked the last Halloween. I enjoyed that. I like that they're doing the, the sequel and the threequel um, sort of concurrently. I like when they do that. I think it can keep a lot of cohesive uh, sort of elements in there. Uh, what I'm waiting for, and I'm saying this right now, give me a sequel to Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I said it! I need it. Silver Shamrock, play the commercial. No, I'm just give kidding. me, give me that. Halloween three season of the witch is one of my favorite. It's it's sort of a, had a resurgence. It used to be uh, sort of panned and hated, and now everybody loves it. Uh, so I hope that we can get uh, we can sort of revisit that as well. But this this Halloween news, I, I am excited about, and I love the idea of giving somebody a role from 38 years ago. Yeah, and you reprise. know that guy was sitting at home, and uh, you know the phone rang, and he was like, "What? You want me to rip? Yeah. Yes, I will be. I will be there." So, uh, Sheriff Lee Brackett returns. I'm excited. And uh, Jeff is as well. All you Disney fanatics out there, Little Mermaid casting news. Variety has reported that David Diggs is in talks to play everyone's favorite crab, Sebastian the Crab. If you don't know, you should. He serves as King Triton's advisor. He's also the court composer uh, for some classic songs. Now, should Diggs sign on, he would join uh, Halle Bailey, at, who was signed on as Ariel, Melissa McCarthy, who was signed on as Ursula. We have Jacob Tremblay as Flounder, Aquafina as uh, Scuttle, and there is talks of Javier Bardem, Mr. Javier Bardem, playing the role of King Triton. While still up in the air, Prince Eric's, uh, Ariel's human love interest has not been casted. Uh, I don't think that I fit the role. And I think we're out of the running. Yeah, but yeah. young Ollie who's sitting in the audience, yeah. he, he's up for it. We got Ollie in the audience, yeah. that's right. We're joined by a very special guest, very excited to have him here. But yeah, who who do you think, could they uh, could they find for a, a, a Prince Eric? A Prince Eric, you know what, I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna say, and this is, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, sort of age myself in this situation. Whoever they picked, uh, I'm pretty sure I will not know who that is. <laughs> like, I'll be like, I don't know, what show are they on? It's like the most popular show, it's, this thing and I'm like oh I'm or they're in some young boy band that I have yeah no yeah well, I don't know who this is I'm in my 30s but uh, I am really excited this cast is out of control yeah um, I, I think Melissa McCarthy as Ursula is really I think playing a really great sort of uh, situation here I love that so much uh, and I love all these uh, new pieces of information that we're getting and a Javier Bardem King Triton what I mean scary yeah I mean yeah. that's a that's a good looking King Triton. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, well, speaking of David Diggs, he's also been cast in our next geek headline, which is Green Eggs and Ham is showing up in the net uh, in our Netflix universe, in our in our queue, uh, but not just as a special episode. Uh, it's going to be a, an entire TV series about Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, Netflix has unveiled a behind the scenes video for the Green Eggs and Ham's TV series based on the classic Road Trip and Tale by Mr. Dr. Seuss. Uh, in the video, it stars Adam Devine, uh, Michael Douglas, Alana Glazer, uh, Eddie Izzard, and Keegan Michael Key as pivotal roles in uh, narrating the also classic Green Eggs and Ham. I'm excited for this because it's really interesting to see that they're taking a small book and stretching it out into a TV series. Uh, Jeff, what are your thoughts on this kind of new venture that Netflix is taking on? I do like this, Josh, I am. Oh. I do like that. I, I like, uh, I want to give a shout out now because this is something when we see these things and people are like, how are they doing this? A shout out to producers and writers that have figured out how to take sort of a piece of our of our childhood that was a very small but very important piece and figuring out how to thread these out a little bit more. You saw it happen with the Lorax, for example, of Dr. Seuss being such an important part of everybody. I mean, when you think about Seuss, it's right up there with Henson. Yeah. As far as like the shapers of our of our childhoods. And so uh, I'm excited about this. And I'm glad that, that the new generation of kids is going to have another avenue to see this stuff. 
I'm stoked on it. Uh, yeah. I like it. I like the idea. And, and I, I, I originally didn't think I would. I'd be like, ah, they don't need to do this. They don't have to, but they are, and it's great, and I like it. And it opens, like you were saying, it opens up other avenues for, for other classic books the, to hopefully be turned into to TV series as well. Uh, the, all the places you will go, I, I would hope they would do something with that. I mean, I know that's everyone's uh, kind of... Everyone's graduation exactly, gift. Exactly, right? Everyone's graduation gift. You always get that all the places you will go uh, book. So that'll be kind of, kind of fun to see. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those are your geek headlines for this week. If we miss something, please let us know in the chat a possible geek headline you want to see in the future. Or you can tell us which geek headline you're the most excited to see. Uh, yeah, so those are your geek headlines for this week. Take it away, Jeff. I am taking it away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back. We're going to take a quick video break. And when we come back, I'm going to pull Josh G all the way over here. Get closer to me, Josh. I need you closer I'll to me. I'll be there, Get buddy. Here. We're going to talk about some amazing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter pieces by PCS. Really stoked about this. So stick around. We'll be right back. basic starter pose for this. Now, I think we could probably go with just a bit more of a torso twist. Now, arch that back. Just arch it, okay? Now, just turn your head ever so slightly this way. Now, cock it back that way. This, this good. is good for my back? Dude, I do this all the time. Trust me. Trust the poser. Okay. okay. Yeah, just count on it. Okay, let's get that arm back and then bring this one up really high. That's it. You feeling that? Mm -hmm. You feel that? Mm -hmm. It's good, right? I think we got something here. Just hold that for a little while, I'll be back. Hey, welcome back, Woo! everybody! Welcome oh back. my God! Welcome Look, back. Uh, I'm full of chance. No, today. it's cool. I am being framed right now by two amazing pieces. I'm super excited about these. We have two pieces by PCS. Uh, first, I want to talk to this guy on my left, your right, 
the Raiden Quarter Scale by PCS. Um, this is a classic callback to the Mortal Kombat 2 uh, Raiden, which uh, is, that's my Raiden, man. You're the Mortal Kombat guy, I'm the Street Fighter guy. But yeah, Mortal Kombat, when Mortal Kombat 2 came out, I just remember, uh, I must have been like 12 or 13, everybody's brains exploded. Because they're like, how can this game get any yeah. better? Well, guess what? We are going to one-up it and show you. So. Mortal, Mortal Kombat 2, I still remember Raiden's exploding uppercut. Yeah. Like fatality. Uh, and the pit fatality. Can, with can you words. just give it to us? Because I'm sure there's people in the audience that just want to... Mortal Kombat. They don't believe you. So here's the thing. You're going to want to charge your high punch for eight seconds. Uh -huh. Then once the person, you get to finish him. Uh -huh. Then you walk over, you let go. Uh -huh. And he just comes down, boom, blows him up. That's wow. It's graphic, but boy, is it satisfying. Uh, now we have his uh, Raiden with his classic lightning hand uh, coming out there. This costume, by the way, is fabric here. This I was is, just going to say. like, it, it's, Yeah, it's here, not sculpted. It's yeah. fabric. So uh, I love the blue. I actually really, really like this piece because the blue is really sharp. I'm not sure if it's translating uh, as well. It's a very sharp blue. I really like that. Uh, Raiden, of course, one of the original seven playable characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise. Uh, the the uh, amazing, he, he was the, the precipice of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. He's the gun, he's bringing everyone to Outworld uh, to protect Earth. Or so you think. Or, well. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how that, <laughs> my Mortal Kombat lore, you're Not right. amazing, yeah. but that being said, I do remember Christopher Lambert in that movie. Oh, and also great soundtrack. Oh, but now we're getting off. Such track. a good soundtrack. Yeah. Anyway, here's something really exciting that we get to bring uh, to you right now, and this is uh, this is really rad, and something I don't think we've ever done on the show before. Uh, we are giving free shipping for the U.S. Uh, for a very limited time uh, for this Raiden piece. I want to say stop. You're crazy. Like a, like a good infomercial, but yeah. that is not, that, that is really cool. We're going crazy with shipping. <laughs> no, uh, uh, free U.S. shipping for this piece for a very limited time. Again, the Raiden quarter scale by PCS, the Mortal Kombat 2 uh, outfit, costume, mm -hmm. the Scott, what, what do we call it? Is I would say it's his gear? outfit. It's his outfit. Outfit, little, little, little outfit. Uh, again, he's one of these uh, classic seven. We got the the lightning coming out of the hand there. It's super great, really reflective too in the in the lights. Uh, really great. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pan over to my right, your left. Look at this thing. And we're gonna take a look I'm at the look. PCS uh, quarter scale uh, M Bison Psycho Drive piece uh, from Street Fighter Street Five. Fighter Five. And here's one of the cool things you'll notice. We've we've plug this in because he has a light up base and light up eyes and we see a little glow coming out of those hands. Um, Bison, Joshy, this is, this is your guy. This this was my guy. So, you know, Street Fighter 2 comes out, played as Guile, end the game trying to beat M. Bison. Then there is news of Street Fighter 2 Champions Edition and you get to play as M. Bison. M. Bison it was one of my favorite characters to play in that game along with uh, Sagat. It was one of the four main villains, I guess, at the end of Street Fighter. But they did such an amazing job of portraying this version of M. Bison from Street Fighter V. I mean, everything from the eyes to the glowing base. I mean, just the way his uh, his his jacket kind of just you know pops out of that thing as he's in that in that that cyclone drive. It's such a cool piece, uh, such a dominant piece. And this right here, we have uh, the the his jacket sort of flowing. Uh, now this is sculpted, and, and the reason for that is it's such a dynamic pose. Yeah. It's very strong, such an intimidating character. Yeah, we can. We can turn this around a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't pull the plug too much. I got it. I got it. I you think. got that? Yeah, I got All it. All right, good. Um, so we take a look at that. Those eyes lighting up. Look at I those mean, traps. Bison is such an iconic character uh, in gaming. Um, so classic. We even saw him in Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. Chilling in the villain's lounge. Yeah, chilling like slash as a villain. Uh, we saw him in there. Just, just to show sort of how iconic this yeah. character is. Um, Wonderfully played by Raul Julia, by the way. I can't give Chris Lambert the shout out yeah, for without, without giving Raul Julia uh, an amazing shout out for his appearance in Street Fighter as Bison. And you're right, when Street Fighter II Champion Edition came out and we got to play oh. as these as these bosses, it was game over, yeah. but not literally. It was continue game. Can we hit the lights? Hit the lights. Hit the lights. All right, Brett. Woo. So we have that. And you can see the eyes. Look at the eyes glowing. That base lighting up there, that is so rad. I also love the detail as we see. We can hit those lights back on now. But if you see on the shin guards here, you can actually see there's wear. Like yeah. he's been kicking people around. 
Even on yeah. the shoulder pads, you can see on the shoulder pads as well. Yeah. His, his his wrist guards. You he he's been in some fights. He's been fighting. I don't know if in he the streets. This. He fights. He fights in the streets. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? he? Is a street fighter. Yeah. Um, you can check out both of these pieces by checking out side dot show slash get PCS as well as a a, a, a gaggle of an of amazing a pieces by gaggle. PCS. Um, we have so much great stuff there. So check out the Raiden, the M Bison, and so much more on that. Real quick uh, question for you before you yeah. we, we move on. It's uh it's video game WrestleMania. You have M Bison versus Raiden. All right. Who who wins? Raiden. I'm going with Raiden. Wow. Raiden's a god. Okay. Raiden's a god. He can fly like Superman. Actually, he, he does can fly too. too. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, you know what? I I might even say it's a draw. Look, I'm just asking the fine folks that are in the chat right now just to give us your uh, just to give us your idea of who you think would win in this video game WrestleMania. Is it going to be M Bison? Is it going to be Raiden? You let me know. So check that out. We're gonna take a quick quick video break. When Woo! we come back, we will be visiting with our favorite hero in the half shell, my man Raphael. He's going to be with us in Two Shakes of a Lamb's Tail, so stick around and we will be right back. Kids Toys, Sideshow.com. Hey, we're back. Woo! Yeah, I know. Yeah. I tried to play it cool, and I just you, couldn't. You I'm couldn't. so excited. You couldn't play uh, it cool, but I, that's okay. I am stoked uh, to have this piece. We have, uh, and this is great too, because this is the third in a row. Another quarter scale PCS piece, but this time uh, we have my man Raphael, the hero in the half shell (parentheses turtle power). A lot of childhood nostalgia on this episode. This is. This is my this is my brand yeah. right here. That you we and have me to, both, my friend. Is, who's your favorite turtle? Well, we were discussing like who is your favorite turtle, and then who is the turtle that best represents our personality. My favorite turtle of all time is Donatello, who I thought, yeah, I'm totally like the geeky nerd because he beats people with a stick. Yeah, but now it's now I'm Raphael. Now I'm I'm, I'm cool but rude. I've been a Raphael. I think as a young kid, I was like, I'm a Michelangelo. Yeah, but, like, I think we all want to be a party dude. Uh, but I got jaded real fast and became <laughs> Raphael. Uh, and so uh, this is great. Now, the exclusive includes a really rad swap out scowling portrait uh, and an additional pair of open hands, by the way. Ooh. So you get the open, so you can have the side, you can have the open hands uh, piece. Now, uh, the base here is a callback to the original 1987 TMNT season one, episode two. Enter the Shredder episode. Such a great episode. We have a chunk of the Technodrome right here. Yeah. Right? They're taking out, they're, they're just doing their job. They took out the Roadkill Rodneys mm -hmm. that came out. Remember the Roadkill Rodneys? The little robots, the little unicycle robots? Yeah, yeah came like the, the Mousers or whatever they were called. I used to have this episode on VHS. I think I did as well. I remember I, getting it in like a Burger King kids' meal of some sort. I used to watch with, uh, with Shredder, voiced uh, by Uncle Phil. Oh, when you I know, found that out, my 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 brain exploded. Uh, so great! Uh, I, I I love this piece. I want this piece. I'm probably going to order this piece, uh, and you also 
can do that as well. You can check it out at side.show slash get raft. Get raft. Uh, now we take a look at this. The color on this, uh, obviously very invocative of uh, the cartoon uh, with added sort of the 3D shading yeah. on that. It, it really does look like the cartoon popped to life. Uh, my nostalgia is on overload right yeah. now. I, like like you just said, it just feels like this thing popped out of the TV screen. This particular scene popped out of the TV screen and right onto this desk. That's and, just such an amazing job yeah. that they did on this Raphael. Yeah, he shows up being cool but rude. Uh, bringing that, I do love that, and and the the sort of uh, the back. You see that like the broken wires on the base. Uh, did we get a good look at the base? Because I really do love this right here. We take a look at that base right there. These, the, yeah. the shattered, broken parts. Thank you for bringing that in. I do like that. Um, so the raft piece again. You can check out side dot show slash get raft. That is a PCS quarter scale piece. Mm -hmm. uh, super stoked episode specific by yeah. the way which i really yeah. love because we got this and then right after that it was what the your baxter stockman and then your hot rod and teenagers, oh, the hot from, teenagers. X, or from dimension dimension x, x, uh, yeah. all that stuff Nerds. all right uh, Nerds. well uh i don't know about you but i feel really good about this episode i had a great time i, I hope that the fans and the people in the chat also had a great time uh you're great me? I cherish and adore you, oh, Joshy G. I yes. love when you're here. Me uh, too. Uh, don't forget, uh, we've got a lot coming up. Spooktacular right around the corner. We're going to start that thing off right around October 24th. we got so much stuff to give away, so much stuff to bring you. We're going to bring you content galore. It's going to be showing up all over the place. You're going to be super excited about that. And I've got something really cool. Uh-oh. Right? Ready for this? I'm going to bring it back. Oh, here it is. Don't forget, you can win this bad boy right here. You can check this out. Don't forget to go to side.show slash first order troopers contest. Don't forget it's troopers because you can win. Not one. Two of them. Hello. Look at that. Uh, don't forget to sign up for that newsletter and, and check that out. Uh, you can uh, check out all of our socials, check out all the really amazing videos uh, that we have to offer, all the content that we got. A lot of stuff from New York Comic Con. Uh, just so much stuff. So and you're all over that. Uh, I've managed to weasel my way into a lot of the New York Comic Con what? video, uh, which is really great. I got this sweet shirt at New York Comic Con. That's from awesome. So I mean, I got it here, but it was for New York Comic Con. Y'all, 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 y'all have been an amazing audience. Uh, you all have been such an amazing audience. Thank you so much. Shout out to Joshy G, everybody in the studio, my man Ollie in the background. And don't forget, everybody, to let your geek side show. Woo! Yeah. You were supposed to say that. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.